Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of where I keep my movie collection. Before I begin this video, I just want to apologize to you guys again for canceling that Blu-ray collection video. Uh, I basically already explained on Twitter what happened with that video, but basically I edited the video, I got it all done and everything, it was ready to upload, and for some reason the editing system I had would not let me upload it. Like, no matter what I did, like, it would not let me upload it. Like, I tried to delete storage on my phone, I tried to, like, delete pictures and stuff like that, and nothing worked, so there was no way I could get that out to you guys, so I was forced to delete it, because at this point, the footage from my Blu-ray collection video was taking up so much storage that because I wasn't able to get it uploaded, I had to delete all the footage, and just so I could be able to make other videos for you guys. So, again, I'm really sorry for the Blu-ray collection video delay, I know you guys probably been really looking forward to it um but i do plan on remaking that video uh in december once i'm on my winter break so yeah definitely keep an eye out for that but until then i'm going to be doing some more smaller scale videos like this uh videos like movie nights videos uh and just other types of videos that i've been meaning to do for a while so anyways without further ado let the tour begin Okay guys, so here is basically the place where I keep all my movie stuff. Now, it's obviously not the biggest movie room like some of the other YouTubers have, but it's okay. I still think this is pretty awesome for what it is. So, right now we're going to start up here. Um, basically, this is where I keep all box sets and VHS covers with cool artwork. Um, so basically, you're probably wondering by looking at this video, why do you have so many VHS tapes? Well, when I first really started getting into movies like four years ago, I would buy a bunch of movies on VHS because I still had a VHS player, and I was just so impressed with how cheap they were. Like, I could find my first source for like a dollar or less, and so I bought so many of them. But then I got into Blu-ray and ended up giving many of them away, but I kept the, the VHS box... Sorry. I kept the VHS, like, box sets and stuff like that, and covers with really cool artwork because I felt like they'll be really great display pieces. So we come closer over here, and as you can see behind this phone is the Rocky Anthology DVD set, which is pretty cool. I actually found that at Flea Market for a really good price. Basically a John Wayne set right here, and if I, you move this out of the way, you can see... The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly uh, Trilogy VHS box set. And right next to that is something really cool. Um, the 1995 VHS box set of the Star Wars films. Basically the last time they were released before the special edition. So I'm very happy to have those. Uh, the first five Star Trek films with this really cool box art over there. I still have not seen anything Star Trek. so But this is still really cool to have. And some James Bond VHS sets that I also thought were pretty cool. And a couple of documentary sets that I've been meaning to watch because I really like history. And here is the full screen version of the Star Wars Special Edition Trilogy from 1997. And up here you have uh, the VHS of the 1989 Batman, Plan 9 from Outer Space. Uh, this interesting VHS tape that a friend gave to me from his, like, I think film club or something like that. But it's still really cool. Um... Star Trek The Undiscovered County, Godzilla with the really, really cool artwork. I heard the movie wasn't very good. I haven't seen it yet, but the artwork on that is really cool. And two of the coolest things I have up on the shelf is Stranger Things Season 1 and 2 on Blu-ray. I absolutely love Stranger Things, and I love these cool box sets. Like, I know it's on Netflix, but I just love the show so much that I just had to buy these. And I also have The Exorcist on VHS, which I actually watched for the first time not too long ago. Really, really great movie. I didn't watch it on this VHS. I watched it on HBO Max. But I bought this because it had a three-hour documentary on the making of the film. And the artwork was also pretty cool, too. So, and obviously, we go down here, and you can see all my Blu-rays. So, yeah. I have not the biggest Blu-ray Blu collection, but I do have a decent amount. It's definitely more of a quality over quantity collection. Like, I admit there's still a bit here that I have blind bought and still haven't watched yet, but I've been meaning to watch them, so... Yeah, like, what I should say this. When I blind buy movies, I usually blind buy movies I know I would either have an interest in, or it's, if it's by a director I really like, or if it's a type of 
film from a genre I really like. I only blind buy those types of films. I don't just blind buy any film like a lot of YouTubers do. I just think blind buying films, like just blind buying anything is just, just takes up space and you're, there's a good chance you'll probably never get to a lot of them anyway. So yeah, I like the way my collection is. I like the way I collect films. Um, I definitely, I will definitely do a video on why I collect physical media in the future and basically why I continue to do so in an increasingly digital world and how I also still actively use streaming services despite using physical media. So definitely be on the lookout for that video coming soon. And if we go over here, this is where I keep some more VHS tapes I've kept over the years. And as you can even see in the center of the bottom row, I have this a DVD weekly rental from Blockbuster. Um, I think this was originally my parents, but I just found it in their basement one day and I decided, you know what, I'll keep this because honestly I just have to hold on to anything that has a Blockbuster label on it. Like, just, I just have such great memories with Blockbuster. I wish, like, I wish it was still around, but heh, the times are changing, so. I definitely want to go to the one in Bend, Oregon one day whenever this pandemic is over, but yeah, anyway, so now up here we have some more tapes. Uh, nothing really outstanding over there. Probably except this really rare, um, excuse me one sec. This really rare VHS of Drake and Josh, which has the first two episodes of the series, which I'm really happy to have because this is actually a really rare tape. And this was a ch classic childhood show for me, so I wish they released more, like, stuff about Drake and Josh on VHS, n mainly DVD. I wish they released like the complete series on DVD, but I know that's probably not going to happen, which really sucks because it was one of my favorite childhood shows. And lastly, we have these few final shelves over there um, and another display up there. But right here, this is basically where I keep a bunch of the movies I don't have on VHS that I don't have on any other format and some other VHSs that I do have on other formats, but I just think the artwork is like really cool, so I keep them over there. And... Let's go up here, and this is where I keep another display, which is a display I really like over here. Um, over here, I have the original releases of not just The Empire Strikes Back, but also Return of the Jedi, which are really cool to have in this collection. Especially since these were before the special editions, of course. And I have uh, Alien next to Empire Strikes Back with that really cool artwork and Aliens. I also have a couple of our tapes here, and... Another really cool tape, um, this is actually the original home video release of Pinocchio from 1985. Um, I was also big into, I also like used to be really big into collecting like the Disney tapes and all that stuff. Like I still collect them from time to time but nowhere near as frequently as I used to. And on the back here we have uh, two sets of the Godfather trilogy on VHS both full screen and widescreen. And I have Gomp Dwin over here. And over here I have a DVD box set of the Mummy Trilogy. And speaking of my Disney VHS collection, here it is right here. Uh, as I say before, I used to heavily collect these when I first got into collecting movies because I just really liked the releases of these. And I held on to all of them when I gave away most of my VHS tapes because, I don't know, I just like watching the old like ads on them from the 90s and 80s and stuff like that. And they're just really cool to have, like, you know? And I even have more in the back right over here okay so I'm not going to show all of them because I'll just take too much time uh, I'm just going to get to the last section over here which is where I keep at least most of my DVDs my TV series DVDs aren't here because I can fit them over there they're in another room at the moment but I'll definitely show them off one day um, this is where I keep mainly the movies I have that I still kept on DVD like, either I don't have them on any other format, I have the Blu-ray, but I like the DVD artwork of it. Or it's a blind buy that I could only find on DVD. So, yeah, I have a pretty decent sized DVD collection over here. And on the back, I have some VHS tapes of shows I really liked as a kid, including Thomas the Tank Engine, Arfter, and all that good stuff. Well, mainly Thomas the Tank Engine and Arfter, but those were two shows I really liked as a kid. And I do still collect, like, releases for those shows because... Those are just classic childhood shows for me, and I definitely want to have them on physical media for the rest of my life. 
So yeah, that was my movie room tour. Uh, sorry it wasn't the best video. I felt like this video could have been so much better. But anyways, I hope you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, yeah, uh, I also want to apologize for the lack of videos over the past three weeks or so. I've just been super busy with school. My semester just... My, my fall semester just started again. I've just been really busy with schoolwork and clubs and all that stuff. And yeah, I haven't had a lot of time to make a video, but... I'm going to try my best to get a video out to you guys a week, if not at least once every two weeks, but I probably can't hold you to that, but I'll definitely try to, my best to upload as much as I can up until my winter break, and then once winter break comes, I'm going to try and upload new videos a lot more frequently, so yeah. Thank you guys again for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.